Okay, guys, I actually saw this article earlier in the week, and it's the cutest thing I've seen all week. So Lawrence from Insecure got married. So, um, well, he's actually been in Top Gun. Top Gun was really good. I thought he did well in there, too. A Top Gun's Maverick J. Ellis marries Nina Senecar at a garden wedding in Tuscany. The, it's she looks. They look great. They look incredible. Um, actor J. Ellis, who plays Payback in the summer's blockbuster top hit, uh, Top Gun Maverick met actor and model Nina Senecar in 2015 at a bar in Los Angeles. Their mutual friend, creative director Tony Mancilla, who ended up getting ordained so he could officiate the couple's wedding, introduced them. After five years of dating, Jay proposed to Nina at Sunset on Dreamland Beach in Bali in January of 2019, and they began planning their wedding shortly after. We always knew we wanted to get married in Italy because going there was the first trip we ever took together, Nina explains. To that end, the two went to Italy to look for a wedding location in June of 2019, road tripping for a week from Rome to Tuscany to um, Puglia and looking at about 15 venues and villas along the way. They eventually settled on Villa man gia Kane, a property surrounded by vineyards and olive groves in a small town called san san uh, cassiano in tuscany but like so many other couples after months of planning and even sending out invitations their plans were changed due to the pandemic and at the time italy was one of the hardest hit areas in the world on a strict lockdown and closed to tourists jay remembers like everyone else in the world we weren't sure how widespread it would be or how long any of it would last so we had to cancel everything uh, the couple shifted their wedding date to be a year from july 9th 2020 as the world slowly started to open up in 2021 and we had a family loss that caused us to be away from home for about eight or nine months which resulted in our having to change our plans again, Nina said, and we finally landed on July 9th, 2022. Uh, toward the end of 2021, we sent our invites for the final time with a header that read, third time the charm. <laughs> and like so many other couples, they did most of their wedding planning on Zoom, reviewing other color palettes and design schemes over the course of the two years. Since both our work schedules are so crazy, we had only one weekend, 72 hours in March, when we could travel to Italy to taste food, see flowers, linens, cutlery, plates, and glassware in person. They worked with Gian Caffroy and uh, Paola Nasi of the Regency event group to ensure the weekend would go as they envisioned and that COVID protocols were carefully followed. Since we had so many people traveling from all over the world and the requirements to get in and out of Italy were pretty stringent, we sent out our updates very few months with links to the Italian government's COVID-19 response protocol uh, from the website. From the start, Nina had an idea about the kind of dress she hoped to wear. I wanted a simple off-white silk material without lace and sparkles, but at the same time, something classic, timeless, and elegant, she says. For that, she turned to Dolce & Gabbana stylist Apuje Kalu, who helped me coordinate with Dolce exactly what I wanted, and the team was amazing. They understood right away what I had in mind, and when I saw the sketches for the first time, it looked exactly as I had imagined it. Apuje and I met with the Dolce team in Los Angeles for measurements and um, to look at color swatches and fabric samples. Then we did two fittings in Milan with Lucio Di Rosa and the design team and one in Florence and the dress was ready. The big tule uh, that was under the dress was actually taken from their Alta Moda collection. For jewelry, the bride wore a pair of diamond studs that served as her something borrowed from her best friend. Her grandmother's ring was something old and it was like having her with me, Nina says. Oh, that's really nice. Jay and Apuje have worked together for many years, so right after the actor told the stylist about the proposal, the conversation immediately turned to creating a custom tuxedo, and we talked about a bunch of silhouettes, lapels, and looks, and I always knew I wanted to wear something in the Bordeaux, Bordeaux family, Jay says. Dolce sent uh, three sketches, and I immediately gravitated toward the third one. The fabric on the lapel was sourced, 
and they had never used it before. The piping on the lapel and pockets was a pitch by a Puget that I've loved, and the uh, rest was the Dolce team being the best at what they do. Guests uh, were asked to wear earth tones for the ceremony, which took place at sunset, and everyone entered the property. Uh, they were directed into the herb garden where they were met with specialty drinks. And then they were led uh, by the sounds of a string quartet into the courtyard where they took their seats. Oh my God, that's really nice. Jay made his entrance, followed by the best man and the couple's closest family members. Um, and finally, the couple's daughter who stole the show as a flower girl. Oh my God, she is a really cute flower girl. Um, there was a moment when I was standing there in front of everyone waiting for the giant wrought iron gates to open and see Nina, but the moment kept going and going, Jay remembers, so I yelled out, baby, are you coming? <laughs> there was an 